So a few weeks back, I published this video about the future of UX design. Here are the key developments around you. Like there is political and economical, there is social, there is technical. Think about those things because they're coming up. And chances are you are going to have to work on some projects within those buckets. So this was a video of speculative thinking and ideation of where the design could be headed. And when I say design, highly user research driven UX, the proper UX. So to speak. And quite a few people actually messaged immediately, can you give me an advice how to get into an emerging tech field? And I'm going to answer specifically and paraphrase it that you actually want to make a living out of it and you want to work there, right? So this is exactly the video. But the bottom line, and I'm going to start with the main point, is that you cannot wait on the bench aside and just wait for someone to come to you and say, hey, you come work with me and do user experience for this emerging field. By definition, if it's an emerging tech field or some sort of discipline, it doesn't have UX to it. Because let's face it, a lot of these kind of like if we take crypto or metaverse or like decentralized technology, as we know, like Web3 and every other symptom of it, it's last thing to be UX. That's why I made that challenge the other day asking you to, hey, let's ideate about the future of customer experience. Make sure to check. I'm going to leave a link down below. Ultimately, those fields who are driven by technology are the last ones to consider UX. And so if you really want to be part of it, you can immediately forget about someone coming to you and choosing you. You need to choose yourself. And I'm going to use myself as an example. A good half a decade ago or so, then there was a boom of voice user interfaces. When the first Alexa devices from Amazon came up, I kind of wondered, wow, this would be awesome to work on. I was very intrigued about everything from chatbots to voice interfacing to having UI less interaction. How could I actually become professional in that field? The only option was to just go and explore it on my own. And that's what I would advise you to do as well. What I did is I purchased the actual device, took, I think, two weeks of the holiday during Christmas break. So I dedicated the time and I said, you know, screw it. I'm not going to kind of take and lounge around. I'm going to actually take ownership of my fate and I'm going to invest the time and learn because I wanted to learn about it. Throughout those weeks, I not just learned about the actual technology. I actually experimented it and built a working uh, Amazon Alexa scale or like a tiny app which would use local database and would surface some sort of information if a user talks. Alexa, recommend me a book. To get a top book recommendation, you can ask your request like, recommend me a book in business. Now, what can I help you with? Recommend me a book in business. How about? 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing by Al Rice and Jack Trout. So after that, the user tested it. I did a lot of iterations, marketing spiel and things of that nature. That then gave me enough evidence that I actually can work with that medium. And I got quite a few freelance gigs. In some of them, I advised actual startups of how we could use it. In others, I did contracts. For example, now if I would work on something and through user research and discovery, I would understand that, let's say, voice interface is the right option, I could just put that hat on and be ready for it. I could also list it out in my resume that I've been there, done that. But for that to happen, I had to make a choice that I'm going to go ahead and learn everything I can get my hands on and actually apply it, actually practice it. And if you want to right now learn about metaverse, and I'm going to push away the blockchain because it's quite complicated, but let's pick something which is already in place and a lot of people have been learning and producing a lot of material which you can immediately pick up and opt in. Let's say VR. If you want to work there, what you can do about it is dedicate yourself, and meaning time, effort, sweat, you know, the stress you're going to endure, and learn everything you can about it. Also, Pick one of the challenges, let's say, which I'm posting about here and there and see if you can apply that lens, if you can kind of market the solution that way so you can immediately apply what you learn. For example, for VR, if we take that specifically, you can find actual research studies about how people respond to it. If you can gather that information together, read about it, learn about it, you're immediately going to be much better off than anyone else who's just wishing or hoping to do something with it. You can run a lot of discovery work on your 
your own. You don't even need team or a business to come to you and say, hey, come do this for us. There is hundreds of pages of research papers. There is hundreds of articles, videos, courses about VR. Learn that, apply that, create some experiences, learn about enough of, let's say, front-end coding or something easy to prototype with, user test it perhaps, do more research, and then you're gonna come up with enough evidence that you can do it. Again, the proof is going to be in a pudding. So if you're going to want to be hired by that, if you're going to want to put something in a portfolio or in your resume to be considered for options like that, you're going to need to work on a site and you're going to need to do side gigs and you're going to need to go deep into it so that you come up with the evidence and then apply for options which are, let's say, say, hey, UX designer for this VR firm. And that's the only way to do that. And I know it's not the answer you might want because you probably want me to say, hey, take this specific course and you're going to be golden and everybody wants to hire you immediately. That's not going to happen. If you really wanted to excel because there's going to be thousands of people who want exactly what you want, if you want to excel from it, you're going to need to work harder than anyone else. And that means really doing more work, harder work, smarter work than anyone else. And, and to be honest, if I reflect back again from my experience, all the different opportunities and every single career growth and bump was because I chose myself and I chose to invest time and I chose to do it anyways, even if someone didn't come to me and said, yes, you are ready now. That's the only way you're going to do that. That's the best advice you could hear, but you're going to need to do the work, so do it. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. That's ultimately it. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to this channel, share with a friend, and on that note, I'll see you next time.